This village that the world marvels at is Korea's precious cultural heritage. Andong Hawe Village, registered as a UNESCO World Heritage Site, is worthy to be called a repository because it's full of national treasures and cultural assets. Let's go on a treasure hunt in Hawe Village where tradition is still alive. Hawe Village, the name of which means Nakdonggang River wraps around the village, is a leading lineage village where the Fuse of Pungsan have lived for over 600 years. It's a typical nobleman village, which enabled it to preserve its cultural heritage, making it an aggregate of cultural assets filled with treasure. To learn what the family house of a nobleman in the Chosen Dynasty was like, you must visit Yang Jindang House first. Ibam Gotek. It means that this house is Ibam, Ryu Jungyong's house, the father of scholar Ryu Sungyong. The house is made of polished lumber, and the ceiling shows bared rafters. The shrine is located at the prime spot on the inside, in accordance with Confucianism traditions. Right across the road from Yang Jindang House is another treasure, the Chunghyodang House. It was the head residence of Ryu Hongryong, the prime minister who overcame a national crisis during the Japanese invasion of 1592. The name of the house, which means Hall of Loyalty and Filial Piety, was given in commemoration of Ryu, who had always emphasized those values. Let's take a look at the treasures that came from the house. The valuable antiquities of the head house, such as the leather shoes worn at the time, a Korean traditional hat, a case for the royal edicts and documents, as well as a scepter, are kept in Yongmogak Hall, located next to Chunghyodang House. Pyongsan Seowon Confucian Academy was founded by Ryu Sung-yong for the education of the younger generation. There is the Ip Kyodang Lecture Hall, which was the teacher's office, Tongje and Soje, which were student dormitories, and Marude, where there is the largest pavilion of all the Confucian academies in Korea. Hawe Village is home to two national treasures, it is unprecedented for a village to have so many cultural assets designated by the country. That is why some call Hawe Village a museum without a roof. And in that museum is another invaluable treasure left by Ryu Sung-ryong. Ogyeon Jongsa Study Hall is where Ryu wrote Jing Bidok, his detailed record of the circumstances before and after the Japanese invasion of 1592. Along with Nanjung Ilgi, Admiral Yi's own record of the war, this book written by Ryu, who was the head leader of the war, is a valuable historical record detailing the diplomatic relationship between Joseon and Japan, the collapse of Joseon society, and the notice of victory from Admiral Yi Sunshin. The preface of his book includes his self-reflection as a person in charge of state affairs at the time of the war and a warning against such a terrible war from occurring again. The whole village was designated as important folk data because it preserved the daily culture of Korea's ancestors. Currently, about 130 households live in the village, including the descendants of the founding family. At the time, some noblemen lived in straw-thatched houses, depending on their personal circumstances. But mostly, it was the commoners who served the nobles that lived in such houses. The social stratus between the nobles and commoners were very clear. Then how did the commoners, who lived in a period when social classes were clearly distinct, relieve stress? 
Intangible cultural assets are also important when discussing the treasures of Hawe Village. People made masks that have cheerful smiles. Hawe masks and Pyeongsan masks are famous national treasures that represent Hawe Village. On every Lunar New Year's Day, the villagers put on the masks and danced as a ritual to wish for the peace and prosperity of the village. During the performance, the commoners would satirize and mock life. They freely released their repressed emotions. During this period, even the nobles understood the lives of commoners and accepted it. This proved to strengthen community ties and enabled the traditions to continue to this day. The traditional four ceremonial occasions of coming of age, wedding, funeral, and ancestral rites are still kept, along with the many tangible and intangible cultural assets in Hawe Village. This village, that is harmoniously in tune with its natural surroundings, is a proud heritage and Korea's 10th UNESCO World Heritage Site.